The Soil and Water Conservation Leadership Team represents North Dakota Soil Conservation District Policy Setting Micro Lesson. By the end of this micro lesson, you will be familiar with the purpose of and reasons for district policies and how to successfully implement them as well as policy examples. Purpose. It is important that soil conservation districts develop policy. First and foremost, policies play a critical role in protecting not only your district as an organization, but the supervisors and employees who develop and implement the conservation plan of work. In addition, policies can be used as a resource or reference tool when it comes to actions, decision-making, and minimizing conflict. Last, policies detail tasks or duties that are explicitly stated in the North Dakota Century Code, particularly those that pertain to the soil conservation mission. Why? Creating and implementing district policy is beneficial as it allows employees to work independently with little guidance. In addition, clear and concise policies have the potential to minimize stress, reduce conflict in the workplace, and help employees do their job effectively. District policies benefit supervisors as well. The simple act of policy development highlights certain board responsibilities, such as annual employee evaluations and appropriate financial management of the district. Implementation. When developing a district policy, the Soil Conservation District Board and staff should work collaboratively. For some districts, the creation of policy occurs during a scheduled board meeting. For others, a specific committee is established to draft district policy. Regardless of the steps taken, supervisors must vote and adopt any policies created. The type of policies developed are as unique as each soil conservation district. However, the following topics are considered exceptionally noteworthy. Employee job descriptions are helpful as they provide parameters and specify the exact nature of an employee's responsibilities. Equipment usage and rental. It is important that district staff understand the correct process when renting out equipment. Supervisor per diem. Although the North Dakota Century Code sets the minimum compensatory pay for supervisors, District boards have the ability to decrease or increase the specific amount. Furthermore, districts may decide to reimburse supervisors for conference travel and or registration expenses. Having a policy that outlines what is covered and what is not removes potential misunderstandings. To summarize, any area that helps districts function effectively and efficiently is worthy of policy development. Let's take a deeper dive into policy creation. Establishment of grievance procedures is not only advisable, but may minimize the severity of the situation. For sensitive district policies, it may be useful to define certain terms and outline a specific course of action. If your district is unfamiliar with a human resource issue, contact the Human Resources Collaborative or refer to the Human Resources Reference Guide, which is available online. Replacing an employee can be a challenging and stressful situation. Districts that have a job posting policy can quickly announce the open position, provided they have a detailed and current employee job description. It is recommended that districts also create an application procedures policy, which outlines the application form, screening, and interviewing procedures. Reviewing your policy documents annually is as important as their creation. An outdated policy is ineffective and may result in further harm or conflict. Asking district staff to assist in the review process is recommended, as many of these policies impact their work. Further, policies should be stored in an accessible binder as well as available electronically. Finally, ensure that all district supervisors and staff are aware of new and existing policies. If your district has any questions or concerns, there are several available resources. Do not hesitate to contact the North Dakota State Auditor's Office, your local state's attorney, or reference the North Dakota Human Resources Collaborative. We hope you now have a better understanding of the purpose of district policy 
and why it is needed. Thank you for your involvement in conserving our state's natural resources. Please take a moment to answer the following discussion questions with your board and staff. Number one, does your district have a policy manual? If yes, when was it last updated? If no, why not? Two, are there new policies that should be developed? Ask, what are we missing? And three, do district staff and supervisors know where the policy binder is located? <laughs>